Hi, my name is Terry. I've just con finished converting a Shopmaster CNC mill turn over to a um, uh, Centroid Acorn CNC uh, control system with their CNC 12 software. I've upgraded all the stepper drives to much larger hybrid servos, um, rewired the entire machine. Let me give you a sh quick tour of it and then I'm gonna cut my first part on it. Uh, so this is the machine, the interface panel, the touch screen. It's an HP all-in-one PC running the CNC 12 software. Uh, the machine consists of a, of a milling machine, a bridge milling machine here, vertical mill, and a uh, metal lathe. Uh, when you're wanting to use it as a, as a lathe, you put the tool holder on just like I've done here. and and run it that way. I didn't need much of the the storage cabinet underneath, so I packaged the control system in here. Um, get this turned right. So over here on the far left, I have the power coming in, uh, all the breakers, line filters for the AC power coming in. This is the Acorn CNC control board here. Uh, Seems to be very robust, uh, pretty much uh, does exactly what it's supposed to do. These are the hybrid servos, which are large steppers like this that have an encoder on the back and it's closed loop. Have three of those for the main drives and a fourth smaller one for a uh, fourth axis rotary table. Um, then around on the other end of the machine where they had the original controls, I still have the uh, variable frequency drive. Uh, I added encoders to the spindle, both the lathe and the mill. And uh, this relay selects uh, which spindle is running. If you're running the lathe mode or the mill mode, then it selects the VFD drives a different spindle motor and selects a different encoder. So uh, as part of the CNC software, there were some demo files on there. I picked one called Pond, and I'm gonna to try to run it on this piece of one inch aluminum rod um, using no uh, lubricant. So let's give it a try.
Well, I'm just real happy with that. That turned out great. Finish is good. Running no coolant. Still had a good finish on it. Um, so I guess the next thing is to figure out how to cut threads on a lathe. I'll get after it.